This is a response to Bob Chaos 23's video on art or porn and where you draw the line between art and pornography. And I think there's a substantial amount of overlap between art and pornography and where I draw the line is uh, based on the same criterion uh, that I use to draw the line between art and advertising or art and propaganda. See, there are there are forms of pornography, forms of advertising, and forms of propaganda that are all art, that are all artistic. There are also forms of all three of those things that are clearly not art. The difference for me is in sincerity. When you look at a, a say a car commercial and the brand of car is being presented in an almost sort of mystical way, it's highly unlikely that the person who made that commercial uh, sincerely feels that passionate about a Chevy. It's perfectly possible that they do and maybe there are some car commercials or other commercials out there uh, that are made by people who are very much passionate about um, about uh, the product which is being advertised but in most cases it's something that's just calculated to make you feel a certain way about the product rather than being a sincere expression of how the person who makes the commercial feels about the product. And the same is true of propaganda, and the same is true of pornography. There's some pornography out there that is not really sincerely expressing any kind of sentiment or idea held by the pornographer. It's simply something that's made with a sort of calculated goal of getting people to watch it and buy it. However, there's also a substantial, I think, a substantial amount of pornography that is a sincere expression of sentiments and ideas sincerely held by the people who are making it. Pornography, like advertising and like propaganda, is not always art, but it is art if the person making it has a sincerely held feeling or a sincerely held idea that they are trying to convey to the audience.